Hatchby High School students are being given a unique opportunity to build an airplane. After more than two years of planning, 12 mentors from the Tehachapi Society of Pilots are teaching students about aviation. Eyewitness News reporter Lexi Wilson tells us what it takes to fly. Lexi. Yeah, when we heard these students were building an airplane, we had to see it for ourselves. And after checking it out, let me tell you, these students are the real deal. Inside a hangar at the Tehachapi Airport, there's a group of students working hard to build a fully functioning airplane. This was a great opportunity. Not many high school students get to, you know, actually build a plane. Right now, the airplane is literally in a thousand pieces. The end result, a Zenith CH-750 Cruiser. I'd say about a year uh, to get it done. Paul Nafsiger is the project manager. He says the dedication of the students is remarkable. They all know that they get a fly in this airplane when it's done, and so they're very, very careful about what they do. They check before they do something. If they make a mistake, they tell us. Uh, it's, it's, it's really an experience for me as well as the students. <laughs> At each station, mentors. This marked both of them. I get a kick out of uh, watching these guys, uh, you know, working and making progress. All of them to Hatchapi pilots helping twice a week. And just seeing it fly, that'll be really exciting. These students learn everything from how to use mechanical tools to reading blueprints. I want to join the Air Force uh, as a pilot, and I just wanted to get more experience with in, aeros in aerospace and aviation and aeronautics. Mentors helping the next generation reach higher. I mean, I'm excited to see the final product because it's little steps. Students showing dedication as they work to conquer the skies. So far, I've loved it. And after that airplane is finished, it will be used for flying instruction, then sold to buy another airplane kit to start the process all over again. Reporting live in studio, Lexi Wilson, Eyewitness News.